going back, um, Nick in the next segment is going to give you a pound. I'm going to give you an ounce, an ounce of cure. It comes in the form of camphor. Uh, camphor is kind of interesting. I can't even explain it. It's, it's, it's a polycarbon, this, that, and the other. It comes from Asia, used in sweetening desserts and medicinal uses. Um, kind of got out of vogue around the 1800s in cooking. And now, um, it's basically just used uh, for technical uses. And I'm going to explain one of those to you now. Um, but a little background on it. In 1903, it was the first synthetically produced natural uh, product. The first. And it went into production in 1907. What we're going to use it for, which there are so many uses in historically, what we're going to use it for is for prevention of this. This square right here has been left and neglected, and it's all rusty. I'm going to show you how we can prevent this by using some camphor. What you do is you take this camphor gum, which I bought at my local uh, pharmacy. It, it, uh, they sell it, and it's about two bucks each, 229 in my neighborhood. Um, it's uh, basically a crystalline oil. Um, and, and a few cautionary notes, you don't want to eat it, you don't want to rub it on your skin, you don't want to ingest it. There are some precautions to it. However, it is pretty safe to have around, just not kids. And if you're immature, be careful. What we're going to do is cut slices like that, and that'll just open it right up. We're going to take it over here to our toolbox. And then we're going to put it in the bottom, and we're just going to drop it in there, close it up. Um, what it's doing is it's evaporating. The fumes are getting oils all over everything inside here. Very light film. Not enough to make you slippery or anything like that. You want to make sure it is in an enclosed space so that it keeps all, all that area. And not It won't diffuse it, that is. Um, another trick with your planters. A lot of you folks have been complaining about this winter and all your stuff going south and you have to resurface all your all your tools. Do the same thing. Plop it in there. Get a dust cover. And this will create your, your enclosed space. And boom. And then come spring you'll be out there in the wood shop getting dusty and it'll be just like heaven. You won't even skip a beat. It'll be just a break in your stride winter. So, follow these tips and you'll have a nice clean tool collection. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go back to Nick and he's going to show you what happens when you don't do this. At Shopsmith's website, you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects, from preparing lumber to applying a finish. Twice a month, we webcast a two-hour sawdust session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at shopsmith.com.